Hello and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Air Review with me, Elvis. Uh, it's my first bit of review after um, my uh, tour to Bath, which I had on Friday, and I got a little bit jarred, so I stayed off the beer all weekend. But um, in sort of a celebration of that, I've got a Bath Ales Dark Side, um, our superbly smooth stout. I do love a stout, I'll try and let it zoom in on there for you. 4% ABV, brown 500ml bottle, lovely labelling on the Bath Ales beers as usual. Um, yeah, we got a little bit drunk. I've just been watching the video back of um, of uh, our tour to Bath, which ironically I will probably release before uh, before this one. So you will probably watch it before I release this. There's a little bit of uh, information there on the beer. I'll read some of it out in a minute. And there we go. Right, let's pop it open. Plain black crown. Yeah, I sort of we had a, we had a really good day on um, on Friday in Bath, but as usual with a lot of places down here, um, they had some great beers there, but not a lot of dark ales. Um, we did manage to get some in Bristol in the Cornubia, which is a fantastic pub. Um, later on in the day but I was a bit too drunk to appreciate them. Anyway that's really dark, get a nice sort of little red slight orange tinge to it just coming through on the side there, a little bit of carbonation on the base, can't see many bubbles in there, a few, half a finger, sort of nice tan coloured head, nice bit of lacing, let's get a nose and I can smell some of it already so it smells good. Oh no, I love that. It's a lovely sort of licorice -y chocolate to toasted or roasted chocolate malt. This one smells a little fruity. I like damsony, plummy. But you're know, like getting a sort of, um, as a kind of a slight alcohol like a spirit, like um, a cherry brandy or something in there. Yeah, cherry brandy, which is really inviting. I'm gonna dig in, cheers. Oh, and it's got that beautiful full body, full body mouthfeel. And the water quality, the freshness. No carbonation in it at all. This is absolutely flat, um, which is fine for me. It's very dry, um, slightly bitter. Um, it's a very sessionable stout at 4%. I'll fire some more in there, along with the sediment, I imagine. I think it's bottled condition, this. Oh, maybe it isn't. Um, I'll give it a quick read. Roasted barley aroma, deep dark colour and smooth yet dry taste, all the hallmarks of an exquisite stout. Um, <clears throat> we brew dark side using a blend of dark roasted malts and old fashioned and rather famous English hot corn fuggles. Yeah. These fine ingredients, uh, blah, 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 dark side to be stored and so cool, yeah, it is fantastic. Yeah, not a lovely bit. Oh, um, website. Um, www.bathales.com um, I didn't, I went into a few of the uh, Bath Ales pubs in Bath and um, didn't actually manage to find any of this which was a bit of a shame because I would have liked to have, I would definitely have had a, well we were drinking half so I would definitely have had a half of this. It's a very good stout, very refreshing as well which I like to see in a stout. Um, sessionable, um, I have had um, stouts with, with more flavour than this, but um, it is a, a good stout. I like the smoothness of it, slips down the throat, and the aroma on this is fantastic. I think this is one of those beers that the aroma is a little greater than the actual taste. There is a lot more on the nose than you do get in the taste, but it's still a good stout. I 
I think um, I think that's worthy of a seven out of, uh, for a lot. I'll start again. I think that's worthy of a seven out of ten. Um, I will. Um, I'll definitely be buying that again. I think it's a good one. Like I said, I would have liked to have tried it on cast, but unfortunately didn't have it anywhere. Um, but yeah, good beer. Bath Ale's Dark Side, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, and hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers.